All right, what's up YouTube? It's Matthew here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm outside of the studio. I'm on the property. I'm actually in the field. I haven't done one of these in the field videos in a while with you all, but that's because I'm under contract for this property right here. This should be my, uh, potentially my very first bird property where I buy a property, I rehab it, I rent it out and I refinance it. And then I repeat the process with other properties again. So, um, Right now, with this particular property, um, I have it under contract, like I said, and it's in escrow. I have a hard money lender in place and everything, and so I'm getting a scope of work done. Scope of work is just a list of things that needs to be done on the property that I send out to contractors, and they give me bids. They come out here to take a look, and they give me an official, uh, their, their version of their scope of work, and then their bids, how much they would charge me for a property like this um, so this is exciting this property is a little bit rough it has some foundation issues um, so this isn't like my first full rehab property um, I have hotel a few deals where I just cleaned it out put it back on the market but this is a property where I actually have to hire people to go down the floors and uh, fix the different issues associated with this particular property or whatnot so I'm actually going to show you all inside and the different work that I would like to get done and uh, this property is a three bed, two bath property. Um, and as you can see right here, we can start moving, looking at the property, but right here, this was just a carport at first, but now they closed it off to add some square footage to the property. Uh, and that's the main interest right here. Uh, so yeah, so this is an older home. This is the addition right here. And so we need new floors. I actually just had a contractor in here just uh, write a bunch of notes about this property but as you all can see this property it does need flooring I'm planning to strip all the wood panels out of this whole entire house um, as you can see wood panels everywhere so pretty much gut the property to its bare bones and the flooring um, because of the foundation issues and then just make sure the plumbing and electrical is fine and then go ahead put drywall put uh, flooring uh, paint appliances and cabinets and everything so this is the addition bath that they added but it's good because that adds value to this property and makes the rent more valuable and so i can just do like a more affordable rehab where i just bring it to rent ready but i kind of want higher rent a little bit higher rents not above average rents that's what i'm trying to say or just average rents um but yeah i don't know if you all could tell but there's a crack right here in the floor but yeah like right there the ditch low and just like all along the front part of this house is foundation issues and they say sometimes when it rains heavily water seeps in so it may need a whole new beam in the front of the house. So like I said, we're going to rip apart all of these wood panels, put in drywall. Um, this is another thing, this bathroom. Um, they took out the closet in the other bedroom to add this bathtub uh, shower um, unit. And so planning to take away the plywood, put some regular drywall in a whole new uh, shower and tub unit and then right here we have a bedroom where they took out the closet and so I'm planning to add a closet right here you know put in some uh, you know plywood and and whatnot and drywall and sheet rag and whatnot and then another bedroom with the electrical work it needs all new windows think about we, we could save this trim if we can if we can't, it's all good. Closet over there. Um, another bedroom right here. And that door in that other bedroom leads to the kitchen. So I'm thinking about possibly tearing down this wall or a good portion of this wall to open it up a little bit more to the kitchen. Uh, this is the kitchen area. This is an area that needs a ton of work. Uh, everything gets stripped. Um, yeah, new cabinets, new flooring, LVT flooring throughout, new subfloors most likely. 
and everything like that. And then right here, this is where the laundry will go. Let me find the lights um, right there and we'll put the plumbing within the wall. And so you can see where they added this section of the property over there. And so these floors are horrible also, so yeah. And then let's look at the backyard. Backyard of the property, it's a nice size lot actually. So not that shabby, not too bad and everything like that. It has a metal roof on it that just needs to be inspected again, cleaned out. So the roof is good at least. Uh, and there's a crawl space so we can go down and look at the floors in better details. And then it's a new HVAC system. So that's gonna run me maybe $6,500 to $7,000 on this property. Um, but the exterior is decent, just needs to be pressured wash. Uh, uh, some fixes in the in the concrete slab of the property um, because in some parts they kind of just put like weird orange insulation where they should have just put um, filled it in with concrete like over there like you see that um, but yeah I'm gonna learn a lot honestly you guys are probably hearing me say some things that I don't sound like I know what I'm doing because this is a complete new process for me so like the different terminologies are probably getting wrong. Like it's taking me the longest time to write a scope of work because I don't understand exactly the term. Like I know, obviously I need new windows, the foundation needs work, but like, how do I write that in detail? Cause I know it's important to be as detailed as possible with these type of properties. So yeah, that's another thing. And just some exterior work there. Um, and so yeah, with this particular property, I plan on uh, fixing it up. Hopefully, I just got a quote from someone who said it'll be between forty and fifty thousand, which is decent. I'm trying to stay below forty. That's the plan. Um, but my lender is getting getting everything together, like the um, the appraisal, and he needs my scope of work still, <laughs> and other things like that, so I can get approved. For the right amount i'm trying to put this chain locked in right now but it's taking the longest <laughs> but yeah essentially this would be my first rehab project and i could like subcontract the whole thing but this is a huge job and i kind of just want one contractor maybe that's going to hurt me at the end but i'm trying to get bids so i talked to one person i'm going to talk to at least three contractors not just go with the first person the first person i talked to i actually met him on my very first wholesale deal when i was showing the buyer the buyer brought him along as their contractor so i'm all like okay maybe he's a good contact so i got his contact that was almost three years ago back in 2019 and now it's crazy that we come full circle and now he could possibly be working for me so it's like I got him from a wholesale deal. Now I possibly might be working with him as my contractor. Um, so we'll see about that. But around this area for a three bed, two bath, I can probably get around 1300, 1400 a month, uh, which is affordable for a lot of people in this area. Um, and so that's the goal. And so I'm hoping with, with everything to be under 110, $100,000. Uh, with purchase and rehab and everything like that, under one hundred ten, a hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> um, and then the property value may be valued around one eighty. So I can even take out some extra cash if you know the refinance go goes well. So I'll keep you all updated on this property, bring you guys out here, um, out in the field. Biz Matthew once again, instead of wholesaling, I'm potentially burying this property. So we still got close on this property at the end of this month. So hopefully everything works out with escrow, no major title issues and other things like that. But um, hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below. Talk to you all later.